version two welcome back guys getting a little bit slimmer i'm feeling a little bit slimmer got a little miami beach shirt going on and you know Today, instead of rice, we're going to be eating acorn starch jelly. This is one of those go-to panchans when people go on diets. In Korean, it's called dotori muk, only 45 calories per 100 gram. Furthermore, no fat, no cholesterol, no sodium. As you can see, it's boing, boing, boing texture, just perfect to do a gymnastics routine. Good. Now, you'll find this at every Korean mart, and typically, you make a soy sauce-based marinade that you put on top, but today, I want to limit the sodium and I'll show you an alternative way to make it that I've tried at the Mart and it's uh, it's very nice. And since you are home cooks, I want you to give this a taste. It doesn't have much of any taste. I would say the closest thing is like a hint of like that uh, oolong tea like aftertaste. All right, we'll toss the flubber in. You guys remember flubber? So I like to put in some diced spring onions. Just quarter this first, maybe one or two tablespoons. And then the key ingredient are those dried roasted uh, laver. You know this, we call it kim in Korean. These are crispy and it comes salted. Now, if you live in kind of an isolated area and you don't have access to this, just make a sauce with soy sauce. I'll put a link in our description box, follow that recipe, and it's a nice marinade to, to dip it in, no problem. One thing, take out the little silica gel back here, put it back into the bag. Yes, why does destruction always feel so good? Let's pour this crumbled seaweed. Then we're going to put about a tablespoon of sesame oil and I don't know the exact size that you're working with so just start with one tablespoon. We might need to add a little bit more. A few shakes of sesame seeds. Stir this up. Put a little bit more sesame oil in. I think it needs a little bit more. And then we're going to season with a few pinches of salt. A pinch more. So I'd say two pinches of salt. One final taste. Perfect. Delicious. Surprisingly good without soy sauce. I know most people are used to that soy sauce marinade, but awesome. So next we're using a Korean zucchini. Feel free to use a regular zucchini. It works just as well. I've done this recipe before, but I'll do it again for the sake of getting your creative juices flowing. Thin slices, not too thin, but not too thick. Something like that. This panchan is so simple, but it's so good. I mean, I think this is really genius, whoever made this one. And then we need a little bit of flour. Yes, I know. I got the memo. It's low carb. <laughs> but we need a little bit just so that the egg stays on. About one tablespoon of flour. You'll probably ingest more carbs if a baker sneezed on you than this amount here. And then just lightly dust each one. All right, I think we may have just used a teaspoon's worth. Crack one egg. Put it on medium heat, mix it around, get it into the egg wash, put it down. And this chan, this Korean pancake, we usually make this during Korean Thanksgiving. It's one of the main ones. All right, I'm gonna actually reduce this to a low after flipping it over, maybe just one minute and we're done. Since we cut these thinly, these cook very fast. In Korean, we call it tan, which means sweet, hobak, sweet pumpkin. In English, they use the Japanese name. That's like the preferred way to call it, called kabocha. And while it's called pumpkin, it's actually a type of squash. Uh, you'll find this at Asian marts, but if you don't have one nearby, you know there's that other squash, the one that kind of looks like an avocado and it's orange, kind of has like that round booty on the bottom. So the important thing is we're gonna steam this and eat the skin and the skin, is filled with calcium. I think it has more calcium than milk. Get it wet first. Baking soda, you mix it around. And if you don't have baking soda, you can also do it with vinegar. And if you don't have vinegar, then get your toothbrush and good luck. Now let's give it a good rinse. You know that sound when you brush your teeth really well. No time for jokes. We have some tanobak to chop. That kabocha. This is the perfect time to call a mister into the picture to help you out or you go Beyonce style go independent all my ladies 
Sorry guys, my creator did not bless me with any singing skills. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh, almost lost that. That nice orange, right? It's going to be nice and sweet. Guys, again, please be careful because this does take some Sasha Fierce. Have an early Halloween for me. We don't necessarily need to cook all of them today, but good to take this out. This would be good enough for like two person serving. And uh, I remember the name of that. Butternut squash. Yes. You can use a butternut squash for a substitute. All right, guys. Then I'm going to cook this in the back. We just want to steam this. All right. This in. Then we're going to let it steam for 15 minutes. And a quick note. Once that comes up to boil, reduce the heat to a medium and then steam on a medium heat. All right. Timer is up. And I could tell that that's well cooked through. Perfect. Ah. And then just cube them up. Take one piece. It's amazing. I was gonna add something, but you know what? These are sweet, just perfect raw like this. I think that's why they call it a sweet pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna do some chicken thigh. So usually for these low carb diet plates, I don't put any marinade on. I save the marinade for the veggies. Just pat them down. And the reason is when there's no moisture, you get a crispy skin. If you look here, you see that there's like extra skin and fat hanging on. That portion we can just cut off trim it off we'll throw some salt on all right some black pepper as well and then two cloves of garlic of course of course chop them up thinly just a tiny bit of oil grab our chicken put it down skin first I also have our garlic pieces you see that garlic is flavoring that oil if it starts to brown up too much just put it on top then I want you to get a small piece of butter, maybe half a tablespoon's worth, get it ready. All right, and just like a steak, you'll see the white part that's cooked. That color is coming up, creeping up. All right, let's take another sneak a poo. Flip it over our knob of butter, and we'll put a lid on it. And now that's gonna steam the chicken a little bit. I like to move it around, do a little macarena so that the butter gets on the underside. We'll just give it one minute. All right, that's about one minute. Wow. I'll flip it over for you guys. <sighs> beautiful. That's how you do chicken right. These look just absolutely beautiful. Something like that. We got our delicious acorn and seaweed salad. Then let's get our chicken on board. We got our garlic pieces on there too. We got some of that chicken broth left over. Put it over the top so it's juicy. Then we got our Korean pancakes. Put these here. Oh, my stomach is rumbling. All right, guys, and then our squash. You know, for this, if you want it a little bit sweeter, one tablespoon of honey with two teaspoons of soy sauce. Mix that up, drizzle it over like a sauce, even better. But today, we're going lean, baby. All right, almost finished. All we need, cherry on top. <laughs> and there it is. This is what I'm gonna go with for this upcoming week. All right, I really like the squash. It's like sweet potato with a hint of pumpkin. All right, and then guys, you know I've been waiting for this one. Oh my God, so juicy, that hint of garlic, and you're gonna start wanting to eat rice. And at that moment, you gotta hit it with that jiggly puff. It's so good. <laughs>